This is Cooking for Bachelors. Today, we're gonna do something really interesting. And I don't know if you read my blog. Do you read my blog? We're doing two dishes, same ingredients. And I'll tell you the story of it as I start prepping the vegetables. Well, first of all, I was thinking one day that I wanted something fresh. I was thinking Mediterranean, and I had gotten some zucchini from the farmer's market that was really lovely. So I thought, what's gonna go with that? And I got some chicken, I got some kalamata olives, and parsley. Well, parsley goes in almost everything I cook. And as I was prepping the dish, I really, really didn't know how I was gonna cook it. I was thinking, should I just saute it? Should I make it over pasta? I don't know. What I'm doing is I'm just cutting, I cut the zucchini in half because I want fairly small pieces, and then I'm just gonna slice it all the way through. So I really wasn't sure what I wanted to make. And I decided, I was by myself, I was cooking for myself, and I decided to actually cook it two different ways. And I thought I would just like test the recipes and see how it would go when I was cooking on the show for you. So that's what I did. I cooked it two ways, and I'm gonna cook it two ways for you. So we're gonna prep these ingredients. Let me show you how I do the olives. I cut them up already because it is a little bit time consuming because they have a pit in them. You can sometimes find them without a pit, maybe even jarred without a pit. So all you do is you just, I like a serrated knife, and you just cut into the pit and you pull the knife down like that, and then you'll get these nice little pieces. Okay, so that's the olives. That's the zucchini. What I did was I roasted red peppers. This will actually go only into one of the dishes. Then I'm gonna use grape tomatoes. That's one of the ingredients. And you might have seen me cut these before. Oh, <laughs> slippery little things. I just cut them down the middle. I hold them lengthwise and just cut them down the middle. So that's really, really easy. And just drop them right on the plate. You know. I'm cooking for you, and I want it to be as easy as possible. I usually stand next to my oven, and I prep all my food as I cook, as it goes in. But for you, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you all the ingredients, bring it over to my burners, and cook it right in front of you so we don't have to go back and forth, and it'll be easier. But we're doing this, you can see all the ingredients, you can see how they're laid out. And again, this is something you change it up for yourself, but it shows you what happens when you just have a certain amount of things in the refrigerator? What are you gonna do with it? There are many options. Food is limitless. It's like, it's like painting. You have a, a blank canvas, your food is the paints, and you just get to do whatever you want. It's, <laughs> it's a little challenging sometimes, but you learn your own taste. You learn what's easy for you to cook. Okay. And then we'll cut up the chicken in small bite-sized pieces. Oh, you know what, let me do my parsley first so that the meat is the last thing that I have to do. And I'm just gonna rough cut this. I like the parsley chunky. Here, you'll share the, you'll share the plate. There you go. Share the plate with the olives. That looks nice together. All right, now we'll do the chicken. I'm just gonna cut it in small chunks. And that's easy to do. So I did trim off the fat, I did trim off the fat, and I did trim off any like grizzle or anything that was on here already. Okay, so we're gonna take our ingredients over to the burners and start doing our dishes. So we're standing in front of my burner here, my Denny triple burner that was so generously donated to me by uh, Keystone Manufacturing so that I could cook in front of you. We're gonna put olive oil and garlic as I start almost everything in the two pots. They're like, they're like leaning, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna burn my salad. No, I'm gonna cook my chicken first. Uh, I'm gonna cook my chicken first. And they're sizzling away, isn't that nice? Wow. Let's cover that up just so that it doesn't hurt. The chicken's gonna cook first, so let me just go over the ingredients. What we're gonna do is just brown that, and then we're gonna take it out. So the common ingredients are the chicken, the zucchini, I have some jalapeno peppers. It's up to you if you wanna have that heat. They're really not that hot. The kalamata olives, and parsley, and the grape tomatoes. 
Those are the common ingredients. Let's check these. I'm doing this first because I want my meat to brown and I don't want it to get all gooey. And different ingredients cook different times because they have different densities. On your density. Cooking on a hot plate. For all your college students out there, look how easy it is. You never thought you could cook these kind of meals on a hot plate. And take the chicken out. I'm gonna leave a little of the garlic in there for flavor. I'll take some of the zucchini, some of the tomatoes, some of the olives. Not too many olives, it's very salty. Use your judgment. You're a salt freak, go right ahead. Okay, and the jalapenos. So we're gonna put our vegetables in all together. This chicken was cooking longer, and this is gonna be a drier one. There we go. And then this one's gonna get the wine. And that's gonna cook down more in like a stew or a sauce style. And this one is more of a saute. I'm gonna keep it open and the vegetables will brown. This is really nice. Look how nice that is. And it looks, it has this like very Mediterranean feel and flavors. Now that my vegetables are browned enough, I'm gonna salt it. If I would've salted them earlier, sometimes the water content comes out and it doesn't allow them to brown. A little salt, a little fresh ground pepper. Throw my chicken back in. Toss this around until the chicken is cooked. So I'll just cover that for a minute while I go over here. Now this one is more of stewing. It's got some white wine in it. I can smell the white wine. Ooh, nice. You know, sometimes you use red, sometimes you use white. Use white when you want lighter flavors, when you don't want the color of the red to discolor your food. Use reds when you're using like tomato sauces and heavier meats. Okay, and then I'm gonna put in a little tomato paste. Mix this around and let this cook down. And this will take the form more of like a tomato sauce, tomato chicken sauce. Break up some of these pieces in here. The chicken is so tender, I'm breaking it with a spoon. Okay, a little more. This looks nice. Okay, let's add our salt and pepper. Our sea salt and fresh ground pepper. Another little toss. Okay, and cover it. And that one's gonna cook down for a little bit. This one is ready. So we're gonna put this on a plate. You could ask me why didn't I cook this one the same way I cooked this one? Well, because I want the vegetables to cook more in the tomato sauce, and here they browned. So first dish, this is gonna take a little more. Mix it around a little. This is a small pan. We're cooking for one. Okay, let's taste this, see what we need. This needs time is what it needs. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. I, I can, just in one little bite of just the sauce, I could taste the parsley and the olives and the garlic. I could taste it all. Wow. Good mix. I'm going to cook that down for another couple of minutes, and then we'll be able to finish that dish. Okay, well, while we were at commercial, 
Yeah, I was, uh, I transferred the pans because I wanted this one to have a larger pan. And it's cooked down and it looks very nice. It also has a, it's like a Mediterranean Italian look here. And I'm gonna put in some fresh grated Romano cheese. Look at that. Oh, yummy. And then I'm gonna add some pasta to this. I cooked the fresh pasta already. And I love to buy freshly cooked, freshly made pasta that's not cooked, it's not dry. First of all, it cooks down in only a few minutes, like maybe three, four minutes. Some of the pastas, five at the most. I'm gonna mix the cheese right in. And I'll add a little more pepper. As you're cooking, decide what you need. Taste it. See if you need more salt, you need more pepper. It's your dish, you can do what you want. I'll taste mine. Oh, that's nice. Now it's like a creamier version of what's in front of me. That's pretty perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my pasta into the sauce. And that's always the way that you do it. This is lovely. This is fettuccine. You know, I went to Fairway Market in Red Hook, Brooklyn. I'm gonna tell you that. And they didn't ask me to say this, but they have fresh pasta in every shape. And if they ship it everywhere in the world, this is what it looks like. It looks just like the cooked pasta. Look at that. It's fresh, it's still pliable, it's not hardened, and you can freeze this. So freeze it as soon as you get it. Freeze all your food as soon as you get it. And then we're just gonna toss this around. Now to this one, I'm just gonna add the roasted red peppers. We just put them in the toaster oven. Oh, this is lovely. It smells good, I could smell the cheese, I could smell everything that's in here. The tomatoes, let me see how it tastes. <laughs> that's really the question, isn't it? I look good, but does it taste good? Well, there's a lot here. I certainly made more than enough for one. Well then, you don't have to put it all on one plate and you save it for tomorrow or invite your friends over. What do we have here? Oh, that's delicious. Oh, that's good. I'm really good. So here you go. Two dishes, same ingredients. There's always a way. Be creative. Have fun with your food.